All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Welcome to another live broadcast. And in this broadcast, this video today, I'm going to be dealing with a very popular subject or topic. And we're going to be dealing with septic tank emptying. So why do you need to get your septic tank emptied? How often should you get your septic tank emptied? What does it cost to get your septic tank emptied? And how do you know when your septic tank is full or not? Well, I'm going to show you. All right, so you can see we've got a diagram here. So here we've got the septic tank, and here we've got the soak away. All right, so first of all, okay, your house will be somewhere here, <laughs> where my hand is, right? And so we've got a pipe that comes from your house. Now, from the pipe, all the wastewater will leave your property so that blue there so if I just put wastewater here look waste water all right so what do I mean by wastewater well basically that's all the water from your property so that's your bath water your bidet water your shower water your sink water your wash toilet water um, washing up water dishwasher water etc right now all the water will leave your house come down this pipe and make its way into the septic tank and it'll fill up to the height of the outlet pipe. Okay, so now when I say water, although this looks blue, in reality it's probably a gray or dark color, right? Now, in wastewater, you get quite a few um, bits and bobs, suspended solids. So if you imagine you've got like number ones, number twos going in there, you've got potato peelings, carrot peelings, condoms, sanitary towels, all this kind of stuff, right? And all this stuff, the reason I'm telling you that is because all this stuff makes up suspended solids and these suspended solids basically float around in the water. Now, you'll see where I'm going with this because this is, we'll have to do why you need to get your septic tank emptied, okay? But anyway, you've got all these suspended solids floating around, right? And then in time they settle. Right, and they build up on the floor of your septic tank, like so. Okay? So, when I say over time, over weeks, over months, over years, right? All right, so now the wastewater, all right, will reach the height of the outlet pipe. All right, and so from there, it will then make its way into the soak away. Now, in this instance, I've just dug a pit because... Up until the 1960s, <clears throat> 1970s, most soakaways just comprised of a pit. And it was a pit full of gravel or shingle or builder's rubble, you know, bicycles and bricks and stuff like that. But the point is, the wastewater would leave the septic tank, go through the outlet pipe, and then it would fill up in the soakaway pit. And then from there, the water would naturally soak away into the surrounding soil or chalk, all right, or, or clay, you know, it does soak away in clay, believe it or not, it just takes a little bit longer. So regardless of your ground conditions, the water will just soak away. All right, so that's basically how a septic tank and soak away work. So why do you need, how do you know when you need to empty a septic tank and why do you need to empty it? Well, when people take the lid off, they normally think, oh my gosh, it's full up with water, it needs emptying. But that is a misnomer. That is um, false reasoning because septic tanks are all three quarters full of water because the outlet pipe is about three quarters up the height or the length of the septic tank. So it's always three quarters full of liquid. And you never need your septic tank emptying because of the liquid, because look, the liquid goes from here, uh, relative displacement comes, it overflows and it spills into the soak away. So the water, the soak away, is meant to help the water soak away. So you never need to get your, 99% of the time, you never need to empty a septic tank because of the water in there, all right? It's because of these solids. Now, over the course of a year, all these particles that have been flushed down the loo and emptied down the sink that go into your septic tank, as I said, build up on the bottom. Now, this is, comprises of fat, grease, and sludge. Now, generally speaking, over the course of a year, right, this fat, grease, and the sludge will get higher and higher. 
And so the only way to determine if your septic tank needs emptying is to put like a dipstick in there, right? So take the lid off, get a stick or a, or, or, a, or a pole, something like that, push it down. Now you're not looking for the watermark, you're looking for a sludge mark. Now typically after a year in a normal household from say one to six bedrooms, a sludge mark will be that far off the bottom. Okay, and so every six or 12 months, you need the septic tank man to come in and suck the sludge away. Now, of course, he's going to suck the water away as well, but you're only doing it for the sludge. So why is that important? Well, because the longer that you leave the desludging intervals, the more the sludge builds up, the more the suspended solids build up. And what happens is the fat and the grease and the sludge, right, then break away from the tank and make their way into the soak away. So the soak away also starts to get affected by the fat, the grease and the sludge and the suspended solids that are coming from the buildup in the septic tank. And then over time, they fur up inside the tank, they line the sides, they fur up. And so the water can't soak away effectively anymore. So that's primarily why you need to get your septic tank empty. So once, as I said, once or twice a year, you get the septic tank emptying man in. Now, here's a word of warning. Not all, but some septic tank emptying firms um, don't like sucking the sludge out of a septic tank. And so I'm telling you this because this will really save you money and it's a trick that many septic tank emptying firms um, do. I'm not saying all of them, there's some good, credible, honest firms out there, but I'll explain why septic tank emptying men and lorries and wagons and companies don't like sucking sludge out of a tank. Now, if you get your septic tank emptying man round, typically it'll cost you, where we live, it costs about £200 a time to suck out um, 2,000 gallons, right? Now, in most septic tanks where there isn't a buildup of sludge, they'll just put the pipe in, the pipe will go down from here, right, and go down and it will just suck all the water out. However, when they put their pipes down deep enough so they doom, hit the bottom, sucking sludge out is not an easy thing to do because it's a fat grease in the sludge. And so, whereas if it just, if they were just sucking your water, the wastewater out of a septic tank, take about 20 minutes to do, right? If they're sucking the sludge out from your septic tank, it can take two to three hours to do with the same amount of volume because it's like treacle. And they've got to get the jetter in there and they've got to stir it and they've got to suck it and they've got to rev the tanker more. So most septic tank emptying firms will only put their pipe to here. And it's like, oh great, leaving the fat and the grease and the sludge in your tank. So when your tanker man comes, make sure, boom, that pipe, that sucker pipe goes straight down to the bottom. All right, now, because you know, you imagine, right, a firm, an emptying firm can come in, they charge you 200 quid, and uh, you know, they can make 200 quid in 20 minutes. Whereas, you know, what firm really wants to come and charge you 200 quid and spend four hours on your property emptying your tank and only getting the same amount of money? So that's why most septic tank emptying firms don't like sucking fat grease and sludge out. Now, if you haven't had your septic tank in, now it's not too bad if you're getting them in to do it every three months, right? Because the buildup of sludge is minimum, right? But when you get, if you haven't had your tank emptied for three, four, five, six, seven years, you know, that's where they just like don't want to come and empty your tank anymore. So there you go. That's a, just a, a word of warning, a tip from me. And so, okay, so once you've got your septic tank emptied, there's also another little um, uh, um, uh, oh, service, <laughs> I forgot for a moment, and another service they'll offer you, and that is to get your septic tank jetted. Now, if you don't know it, jetting is like, uh, it's like a long pipe, and a jetter looks something like this, and jetting is firing high powered water from a hose, just like they do on the jet washes, into your septic tank here. Now, this jetting will clean all the debris from the side of your tank. It'll stir up all that fat and the grease and the sludge from the bottom, and then they can suck it out. But just another word of warning, don't get your soak away jetted. Don't do it. Why? Because you imagine, right? 
they're firing high powered water, high pressured water, right, into your soak away. It just sends all that fat and the grease and the sludge down into your soak away and it compresses it, making it even harder, you know, to get out. And it also blocks up all the pores and the arteries of your soak away, causing soak away problems. So if you're getting your septic tank jetted, not only is it costing you, what, an extra 150 quid or more on top of your emptying, it's also damaging your soak away. So don't do it. <laughs> That's just another tip. That's a free tip right now probably septic tank emptying firms won't like me saying that but it's fine for cleaning out your septic tank i'm not saying don't do that but don't get them to jet the pipes going to your soak away and that's it so now um what was the other thing oh yeah people are asking me how often do they need to get their septic tanks emptied well all you need to do it you need to do it at least one to three times a year okay so it's as simple as that. I mean, uh, where is a oh, ball drubber there? But I'm going to show you, right? Now, you can do that. You can spend 200 quid a time to get your septic tank emptied, or you could do what I'm about to show you. Now, what I'm about to show you will save you hundreds and hundreds of pounds. It'll prevent you ever getting or developing any septic tank and soak away problems. And it will save you hundreds of pounds from having to get your tank emptied all the time. Have a look at this, right? Now, um, you can get something called soak, soak away worms. Now, I used to live in a place called Shropshire, right? And where we used to live, my dad's septic tank and all the neighbors used to have loads and loads of worms in the septic tank. It was like something from a nightmare. It was like something out of a flipping nightmare film it was. But anyway, look, if I just put a worm there, big smiley face, the worms weren't that big, but um, it's just for illustrative purposes. But anyway, they had worms in everyone's septic tank. And uh, I never thought much of it apart from, you know, having nightmares about it. But a few years ago, my dad reminded me of the fact that everyone had worms in their septic tanks. And he said, do you remember, Jason, that none of the septic tanks where worms naturally occurred in ever developed any problems? And I thought, yeah. That's a very interesting point. So I did a lot of research and I found out there's about 150 species of worms in this country. And I found out what these species of worms were and we started breeding them. And I started giving them to people uh, with soak away problems, right? And they tip a bucket of worms into their septic tank and the worms, right? I'm not kidding you. The worms would go in, they'd fall to the bottom here of the fat and the grease and the sludge and they'd eat it all. They'd eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge. And people who had blocked soakaways, where these worms would go up the side of the wall, they'd crawl into their soakaway, they used to unblock and clear the soakaways, right? Completely unblocking it, right? And so then the worms would live in the soakaway, but people would email me and ring me and stuff like that saying, ah, oh, Jason, you know, you've saved us three, four, five thousand quid from having to have our, uh, our soakaway replaced. So I thought, flaming hell, these worms really do work. So then I started giving them to people um, to, uh, to see if they'd keep their septic tank clean so they didn't have to get it desludged and emptied all the time. And true enough they put their worms in the worms they'd get their tank emptied they then put the worms in and the worms would literally drop to the bottom of the tank but and they'd go and test it every six months every 12 months every 18 months and there'd be no fat grease and the sludge in there so if you want to save hundreds of pounds and not get your septic tank emptied or develop you know septic tank problems consider getting a bucket of soak away worms now there's lots of different wormeries on the internet on ebay and stuff like that that claim to sell uh, worms that work in septic tanks, but they don't. They use common old garden, garden worms. Normal garden worms will not eat the fat and the grease and the sludge in your soak away or your septic tank. These are a special type of worm. They're called a sewage worm, and they specially exist in nature to eat fat, grease, and sludge. But anyway, so that's a, another free tip for you. Every little helps, as the saying goes. So look, if I hope that's helped you regarding septic tank emptying today, right? If you want more free advice and information and free help, then all you need to do is go to septictank.co.uk. That's my main website. I've also um, on YouTube live on uh, Facebook. The point is I've I've also got, a, it's called Septic Tank TV, 
again, all this stuff's free. I don't want a penny. There's no catch. There's no con. I've just done hundreds of free videos to help people save money and fix septic tank problems. So if you want to see more of me, you want to get more free advice, just go to septictank.co.uk or um, just go onto Google and type in septic tank TV. But listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this live broadcast today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon.